Welcome to the Rustic Garden. Today I want to talk about how you can use water-soluble fertilizers in your garden and what they are. Number one, a soluble fertilizer is a form of N, P, and K, or a form of nutrients that's immediately ready to your plants. That means when you mix it with water, pour it onto the leaves, pour it into the soil, the N, P, K, and other nutrients can be absorbed uh, right away, really, by your plant. Insoluble fertilizers are more like fertilizers that are in the uh, gr uh, granule form that you uh, buy organic, put it into the ground, and the microbiology has to break that down. So it's slowly released to your plant over time. So we're talking about soluble, water-soluble fertilizers, and these products get mixed into water. Now there's two kinds you can buy. You can buy organic. Fish fertilizer is organic. It's basically emulsified fish, fish parts, fish body into a fertilizer and that fertilizer has a nitrogen of five, um, phosphorus of one, potassium of one. It's a, a 511 NPK. Now the processed or chemical fertilizers, this is actually a 153015. You don't need that. Cut it down to about a quarter strength and you get a 484 fertilizer or close to that. I round it up. Two different fertilizers. The second thing is organic is not better for you or for your plants. People hate that, but it's true. The processed chemical fertilizers will not harm you or your plants. The chemical fertilizers are harmful to soil life when abused and used in like um, high-end industrial farming where they're just, you know, putting down tons and tons of chemical fertilizers over tons of acreage, and that's all they did year after year. They wipe out the soil life. You're not using it like that. Organic fertilizers are wonderful, but this is a fish fertilizer. If you have cats or animals in your area and you put down a fish fertilizer, you're going to attract those cats and those animals to your, to your garden. So what I like to teach is you can use either one. You don't have to be 100% organic. You don't have to be 100% chemical, but use what works. This is also cheaper. Using this at quarter strength is going to save you a lot of money. What do I do? I use both. To mix this up, you just follow directions, but it's two tablespoons per gallon of water. This is typically one tablespoon per gallon of water. Um, I cut it down again to quarter strength because you just don't need the 15, 30, 15. You can use these about every seven to 14 days depending on the size of your plants. And I want to show you how you water them in because you don't put one gallon per plant. This is actually to cover 25 square feet. This is actually to cover 10 square feet. But I just want to mix it up, show you how I use it just to give you some idea. And again, the key is that you need some water soluble fertilizers for your garden at times. And especially when you have containers, when these aren't really um, soil systems that are alive like your earth beds. You know, there is soil life in there, but they're, they're just, let's say for instance, there's no earthworms in there. There's probably none in those flower boxes. The microbiology is very different. So if you're waiting for organic uh, insoluble fertilizer to break down, it may take a long time. So you want to use soluble fertilizers in your container plants. Let's get to mixing and I'll just show you how you know I pour this on. So these are my container plants. We're going to go out into the earth beds too. This is fish emulsion, two tablespoons per gallon. Those are sweet potatoes and cilantro. And every 7 to 14 days, depending on the size of your plants, that's all you really have to do. Silvery fir tomato, some more cilantro. The fish fertilizer, these are potatoes, is a 511 N, P, and K. And remember, the key point, there's a tomato in there, the key point is soluble fertilizers have nutrients that are immediately available to your plants. And I like to use them Here's a broccoli plant in containers because the soil life is very different than your earth beds. The biology is different. So if I were to drop down granular um, organic fertilizer that's insoluble and just put it on top, that's not going to feed these plants right away. It's going to kind of sit there, break down over time, and it can take months. Let's go out into the garden, show you the same thing. But that's all you need to do every 7 to 14 So this days. is one of my beds. It's 4 feet by 6 feet. That's 24 square feet. That's about how much you would put one gallon of fish fertilizer down. This cauliflower and same thing. I don't really pay so much mind to the square footage. Just soak it in like that. The fish emulsion is a 511 fertilizer. The nitrogen is great for leaf growth, but the 1-1 one, one is kind of low 
for when your plants get into fruit production and flower production. And that's when I might use the chemical fertilizers. And again, all products are chemicals. Everything on the planet is a chemical. You can't make fake nitrogen. You can't make artificial potassium. It's just not possible. But we're true people would have turned other elements into gold. It's just not possible. But this is how I would use the fish emulsion in this plot. Just soak it down every seven to 14 days. More often when the plants are bigger, less often when they're smaller. So this is the chemical fertilizer and it's being used at one quarter strength. And when you get to plants that are in production, these are strawberries, they're gonna be producing fruit. Sometimes you wanna focus more on the potassium and the phosphorus. Garlic, not so much interested in leaf growth now, they're growing the garlic bulb, but that's it. Just soak it in just like that. Tomato, fine, give it a toss. And I would use the chemical fertilizers just like this every seven to 14 days, depending on the size of the plant. For plants that are in little cups like this, process chemical fertilizer. You want the fertilizer to get right to the plants. Let's go out into the garden. I'll show you how I take care of those. Common sense rules. These are my greens that overwintered. I'm eating them this week and have been eating them really for the last week. Don't put the chemical fertilizers or fish emulsion on the leaves if you're going to be eating the plants over the next seven, 10 days. Just get it right onto the ground. And this way you don't have to really worry about, you know, washing everything. Uh, perfectly you can just pick the leaves because you know it's your garden and you didn't put anything on them before you eat them over here i've got my cool weather crops kohlrabi beets endive and i would just soak it just like that and funny quick story is as i was making this video my wife came down and when i went back in she was looking all over the kitchen for something that smelled awful well that was because i was filling up the water container with fish emulsion in the kitchen sink. It does smell bad. So if you're having some sort of barbecue or people over, don't use the fish emulsion that day or the day before. It takes about three days for the odor to go away. And if you have cats or animals around, the fish emulsion can attract them to your garden. Hope you enjoyed the video. This gives you some idea of how to use water soluble fertilizers in your garden. Please check out my uh, garden and Seed Shop at www.therestofgarden.com. Thanks.